we find some alien technology. What we find is like a piece of a craft. We find this piece of a craft. It looks like a piece of metal, but it's shaped. And you go, well, that doesn't look like a natural shape. So the next thing we do is we take it and we look at it under a microscope. We look at it under a microscope and we see something weird. When we go to look at the surface of this material, it's organized. It's in a pattern. It's in this very specific pattern all the way around. We don't understand why it's in a pattern. But when we look at it on the tiniest scales, we're seeing patterns along the surface of this material. And we go, wait a minute. There's no way this is random. There's no way this is a geological formation that made these microscopic patterns along this material. And we realize that somebody must have produced this. Something must have produced this. And then what we would have realized from that is, oh, we can do this. We can make microchips that are at the atomic scale, or at least close to it. Not yet, but we will be able to get to that point. And then it's just a matter of scaling that up. But you would realize there's no way. 1947, we didn't have the lithography to produce something, let alone a whole craft covered in that level of material manufacture. That's what I would have imagined reverse engineering would look like.